Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It is Sunday afternoon. It is a lazy Sunday afternoon. I shouldn't say lazy. It's never lazy in our house. Um, but make sure, if you guys haven't checked out the Q&A that I uploaded yesterday, make sure you go check it out. Um, it's actually in the, um, <laughs> it's actually in the uh, process of uploading right now. It is a 45 minute video and it is long. I know it's long, but anyway, make sure that you go and check out that Q&A. We, I sat down with Mike and recorded that video and we went through and we answered all of your guys' questions about like, you know, baby number three, if we're having baby number three, how we met, parenting, like just all the things just to like to get to know us. It's been a while since we sat down and do we've like done a Q&A together. In fact, I think this was our first official Q&A together. So anyway, it's just a really good video to like get to know us and get to know who we are a little bit. We were so tired when we were recording it. So we we're just kind of like, Meh, and Kaya got out of bed like 15 times while we were recording the video. But <sighs> that's parent life. Um, I also wanted to say that amidst all of the craziness, um, so Minnesota schools um, just closed K through 12. Kaya's not in school yet, but she, um, the kids are both in daycare. Riker's clearly not in school yet, but um, yeah, I we are just kind of waiting here. No, what is this? Um, that's actually for cleaning glasses. Um, so we're just kind of hanging out and we're waiting to see um, if daycare closes. I am fortunate well, enough where I'm able to work. They're coming back soon. I'm fortunate enough so where I'm able to actually re work remotely if I need to. So we'll see in the upcoming days if that becomes, um, we'll see here in the next like upcoming days if that becomes something that has to happen where I work remotely. Um, we'll see. But. Um, I think North Dakota because we're on the like we're on the border of North Dakota, Minnesota So we are just kind of waiting to hear um, We're just kind of waiting to hear if North Dakota is gonna close schools schools as well um, Yeah, I don't know Anyways, all the craziness and all of my thoughts and prayers and love and support to all of you who are currently um, quarantined um, and stuck in your houses with the kids because it's going to be a long two, three weeks. And I know it's not gonna be easy for a lot of people and my heart goes out to those like financially who are going to be struggling through this. This is just, this is the craziest thing that's ever happened in my lifetime. Probably the craziest thing that ever will happen in my lifetime. Um, or let's hope so anyway. But everybody's kind of going through the same thing right now. So I figured I would come to you and say hello. Uh, yeah. Um, I'm sipping on a coffee, an iced coffee right now. Riker has just been crabby today. What's going on, pup? Hmm? You just threw up a little bit too. Yeah, I don't think you're feeling super great, poor guy. Now you got a stinky diaper. Now you got a stinky butt. Oh my goodness. All right, let's change your bum bum. Let's change your bum bum. Yeah. Oh, oh, so sweet boy. Every day. Okay, so here, okay, I'm gonna show you. These are these are the germs. Okay, these are the germs. We saw this on Facebook, so I want to show Kaya. So these are the germs. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna spread the germs in here. Okay, look oh, at all hey. look at all those germs. Okay, now put your finger in there. Look at all the germs that got on your finger. Okay, now give me your other finger, and we're gonna put soap on this one. Okay, and we're gonna spread it all around. Okay, spread it all around. Now dip that finger in the germs. Dip it in the germs. Watch, watch, watch. Do you see that? Look at all the germs are spreading. You see it? Look at all those germs go away. You see that? Look at all the germs. They went away. See? Over here, covered in germs. But if Kaya, over the, here. Kaya, the pepper is germs. Yep. Look at this. Oh, look at this. The soap? Fine. Look at the soap help to do. That's why we wash our hands, is because soap helps to get the germs to go away. So Kaya okay, just got done with doing um, some ABC mouse over on her iPad. You guys know that I've been doing that for a while with her. I'm just like working on letters and shapes and numbers and counting. Um, but I wanted to show you guys, is anybody else's child 
completely redress themselves during the day. Yeah, is this your hand sanitizer that you got? Yeah. Um, I dressed Kaya in like a super cute outfit this morning and she has proceeded to dress herself in these white pants and a swimsuit top. Do you like that outfit better than what I dressed you in? No, I'll dress myself. You're gonna dress yourself? I know. I make that very clear to mom. I need to take the garbage out. Mm -hmm. Oh, don't pick your nose. Ew, gross. Ew, gross. <laughs> Ew, gross. Better, better sanitize those hands now. Ew. So for dinner tonight, even though Mike is flipping them, I've been making dinner. Oh, um, you wanna make sure you get credit for that? Well, I made the dinner. <laughs> Um, okay, so we've just got some pork chops, um, and then we've got roasted Brussels sprouts, and we've got this stuff, um, this balsamic glaze from Costco to put on the top of the pork chops. Should be pretty good. I always do like a similar glaze on top of the pork chops um, with a little bit of um, thyme and rosemary. Super good. So I'm gonna have this set out. Have that with the pork chops. Um, I don't have anything else. Do you think we need to do like rice? Think we need to do rice or anything? Rice? Are you spilling it? Where? Should we do rice or Brussels sprouts and pork chops good enough? Rice. Rice? How long does that take to cook? 30 minutes. <laughs> okay, well, uh, well, I didn't plan out that very well. I guess I will look in the cupboard and see what we have. You can make beans. Just It'll a side like of beans? Days. What? It'll take like two days. Yeah, dried beans. Well, you just soak them for like at least six hours or something like that. Um, we may not have a carbohydrate <laughs> tonight. Shaboodles. Here I was thinking, I was like, oh, we're good. I guess supper plans so well. I almost hit myself in the face. You guys see that? I'm failing tonight, you guys. I don't think. You don't have to have everything. We had rice in the fridge. Yeah, this rice has been in the fridge for like a week, so I don't think that's good anymore. All right, it's just going to be Brussels sprouts and uh, pork chops, babe. Sorry, I could do ch like cheesy green beans. <laughs> he hates cheesy green beans. Well, that's what we're gonna do. Good enough. Plenty of food, you guys, plenty of food. If they're still hungry, then ice cream. I'm just kidding, though. No. It's been a super crazy weekend. Mike just got done making a mud room, which I will show you guys really quick um, after I'm done flipping the pork chops. Okay, I'll show you guys really quick what that looks like. Down in the entryway. So the mudrooms that we make are two separate pieces. We will have a DIY going up on this um, within the next couple of months. So this piece is attached separately from this piece. This gets attached directly to the wall. And then this is the bench for underneath. Usually they have hooks on them, but actually this one we forgot to pick up the hooks so we're gonna have to grab the hooks for the customer um within like the next couple of days or so but yeah that is uh what our like hall tree like mudroom hall trees look like and that one specifically is a six foot one so it's kind of a big boy um and then mike also made like he's laying down honey he's just laying down in his in his little crate his playpen um we have to keep him in his playpen these days because we still don't have locks on like the cupboards. So um, what ends up happening is he'll like go through these cupboards and then pull all of the Tupperware and stuff out. And um, this bottom cabinet down here has glass in it. Hi bud. It has like glasses in it. And um, he's shattered three in the last week. So I had to quarantine him. Hi. You got a booger on your lap. Ew. Um, we've been watching Guardians of the Galaxy. <gasps> yeah, we've been watching Guardians of the Galaxy on repeat for the past couple days. You wanna come snuggle me? Okay, hang on. How many things? Yeah, snuggle boy. 
What's wrong? <laughs> yeah. You're probably pretty tired. We've had we've had quite a few people come through today. We had my sister and her boyfriend come through with their dogs. Um, they were here earlier today. Yeah, yeah. Did Auntie Kenna come and Uncle Cole? Yeah, yes, yes. So they came through um, because they're on their way home from Bismarck and they live in the cities. So they stopped here halfway through um, and then grabbed like lunch and celebrated one of their friends' birthdays. Um, and then Grandma and Grandpa Bylan came by. Um, to hang out just for like an hour. Yeah, they did. So they came by, hung out for an hour, and then my sister and her boyfriend came back over to grab their dogs and head out. So we've had people kind of like in and out of the house all day, so Riker hasn't napped for very long. Usually he has still like a good like three, three and a half hour nap. One good three, three and a half hour nap during the day, maybe a cat nap in the afternoon towards like four o'clock. And he um, maybe got like an hour and a half nap in today. So he's probably really tired. We're having a late dinner too. It's like 7.15 right now. So um, it's, it's just been kind of a day for him. And he's, his patience is starting to run out. And I can tell that he's really tired. So, All right, I'm going to finish cooking dinner and then um, get the kids served up so I can get them into bed. <laughs> Hi, did you follow me all the way over here? Hi, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You want me to hold you all the time? All the time. Look how cute you are. Squeakers! Squeakers! Mom. Yeah, I know. I see you, buddy. I see you, buddy. Alright, so this is dinner. Again, doesn't look super pretty with the glaze, but, um, yeah, this is super good. I love my Brussels sprouts, like kind of crispy. And then sometimes I have a little bit of ranch with them too. Soup's good. This poor table, this poor table. This dining table is going to go this week. Finally, we're gonna have our new dining room table. We'll have a bench on this side, bench on that side. And then we'll have chairs on either end, not these chairs. Um, and it's instead of like counter height, it's gonna be regular like dining table height as well. I've got Riker set up with some dinner over there. He's a crabby crabby boy. But I've got him set up with dinner, Kaya set up with dinner. I need to wash this and do all the dishes. I just wanna show you guys this because I wanna be real. This is just from last night and today. This is one day's worth of dishes and my sink is totally full. <laughs> I just spent like two hours doing dishes yesterday and now it's full again. So yay for dirty kitchens. As soon as we clean them, they are dirty again. <laughs> oh my goodness, all of the craziness. So um, I just got done watching a live stream um, from my local news. And like I said, I'm on the border of North Dakota, Minnesota. We're on the Minnesota side. Um, so Minnesota already closed K through 12 schools um, through basically the end of the month. Um, they made that announcement this morning. And North Dakota just got on and made an announcement that they, that they are closing um, through the end of the week and then they're reassessing. So what that basically means is um, from what I understand is they'll be looking into um, like the amount of cases because right now North Dakota only has one case and Anyways, I don't know North Dakota is like a whole thing in itself, but they are gonna be looking into like remote schooling options and um, getting like big lunches to those kids who need it and things like that, which I think is super amazing um, That they're still trying to make sure that all kids are fed um, through this um, crisis. So, What's up? <laughs> Come closer. Come closer. Closer. Anybody know Chris D'Elia? Yeah, name that reference. Guess what? Closer. Guess what? What's up? What's up, so? Because I, you know, when when I was a little girl, and the people would look at me all in a circle, and grab, and 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 my and my, my old grandma would say, "Watch out!" <laughs> I I don't know what that was about. Um, Kaya's been doing this thing lately. It's like super cute. She's been 
And Kai has been saying, she'll be like, when I was your age, <laughs> when I was your age, because that's what I tell her. So she'll be like, when I was your age, I cut my finger open. And I think she means when I was her age. But anyways, it's super cute and I love it. Um, stay tuned for a spring clean and decorate with me. I'm trying to gather, I'm trying to get on the spring decoration training, training on the spring decoration train. Um, this is like as springy as I got today and I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. We've got the new dining table coming. You think good night. We've got the new dining room table um, being built this week. So I'll likely rearrange and like redo this entire thing. And oh, Kaya's got all the lemons lined up. I'll likely take a whole bunch of stuff down off here. I wanna take this map off and like put a huge mirror here. I'm gonna have big, huge chalkboards on either side of this. And eventually this whole wall is going to be shiplapped um, just to kind of give it some texture. But I'm just holding off on the spring decor until I have more of an idea of what this room is going to look like, like the bones of it, what the bones of it are going to look like, like after we get all those updates done. So I love my map, you guys. I just, I feel like it's, it's too much height here. Like if I walk back, it's just, it's so much height. You see what I mean? I don't know, like a solid block of height. And like the chalkboards will go hey, from like channel, here channel. down on either house. side. Hey, channel, who made this house? Who made this house? We had this house built by somebody. We had a company build this house for us. Did you know that? Did you know? Do you know and, that? And also, that, Chris D'Elia. I like quote him all the time. And then but, we don't have a house. Yeah, and then we, well, we have a house now though. We're good. But anyways, I just think that this is, it's just like, it's too much. So I'll likely take this map down, put a little bit smaller of a mirror here. I can't decide if I want to do like a circle mirror or do like some staggering stuff. I don't know if you guys have any suggestions, leave it in the comments down below. Um, and of course I'll be featuring the whole like dining room makeover um, and all of the DIYs I'll be featuring over on the Eminem Rustics page. So again, make sure you're following Eminem Rustics, run Eminem Rustics channel and the blog. Um, we took a break this Sunday from the Eminem Rustics channel. Um, I'll be posting two videos over the next week for Eminem Rustics, um, but today we just didn't have any content, um, especially with all of the crazy stuff going on. So anyways, all right guys, I'm going to finally end it there for today. I will see you um, in a couple days, likely for another day in the life because we're not doing a whole lot around here. Um, I'm in the process of recording that, what my kids eat in a day so I can show you guys what they eat um, like specifically, and I know it's such a great tool for like going back and looking for ideas for your own kids. So I've got that coming for you. Kaya's waking Riker up. I'm gonna go. I'll see you guys in a couple days for another really fun video. Okay, bye guys.